holding some very heavy bags. Okay. Right. Um, do you know what yagate means? I'm guessing from Yagaru. Um, maybe I don't yeah. recognize uh, that word. Yagaru. Is that a word? Isn't it mean F? Okay, I don't know what mm, this it is. Nothing to do with Yagaru to have the nerve to. Um, Yagate is a thing that means like at the end or finally. Ah, it's However, it doesn't necessarily have that feeling of longness that it has in English. They're going to say finally. In English, there's a little bit of a like connotation that it took a while to hit there. This longness does not exist in the Japanese version of Yagate. It, but it, it it's it's like most similar to finally it's like at the end i it finally enough like is more similar because of that at the end because for whatever reason that doesn't insinuate the same longness that finally does but we don't really say at the end that much in english or like mm. after that basically <clears throat> but the yes. idea is that uh we, we were something new is happening you know like yay finally i see a kaizen um, can you read the sentence for me? Sara ni tonnel ga Suzuki? Suzuki? Suzuki, hi. For Suzuki. Yagate ue ni makao nagai kaidan ga mieta. Hi. So this is mukeru? Mukeri. And this right here is mu kao. Mu kao. So this kanji is always pronounced as mu. Mu. Ku. So one is. Yes, no. Um, they. I'm not sure what muku means off the top of my head, but they all mean the same thing, which is facing. Um, the difference is that mukeru takes o, mukao takes ga. Uh, I see. So one is passive, the other is transitive. Yeah. So mukao takes ga. So the tunnel faces. Uh, let's start with Suzuki. Hi. So it say that. The tunnel continues. Yes, it does. On it top of that, sarani. it the the sarani just saying it continues further. The tunnel continues further. The so they just went through a gate, and the tunnel didn't like end right there. Instead, the tunnel continued further before the uh, yagat did. And then, at the end of of that yagat there. Ue ni on top. Mukau so, ends u. with u. What does that mean? Mm. Does it still modify the nigai that come afterward, Mon? Well, did... nagai is an adjective, so it can't be describing that. Relative clubs only describe nouns. I see. So it it actually is a little clause here that say that at the end the tunnel faces upward. It mukao is describing kaidan. Mukao is describing kaidan. Why so, do you think we know that? Why do we know that? Kaidan is a noun. So we know that mukao needs to be describing the very next noun. Sometimes there'll be a comma, which means we have two relative clauses all both describing the same final noun. So there's no comma here. So we know that it's going to be the next noun. Nagai is not a noun, so it can't be describing that because nagai is describing kaidan. Kaidan is the noun, though. That is the first noun we've hit since mukao, and there's no comma here. 
So it means Macau must describe Kaidan. Um, if there was a comma here, it still would describe Kaidan, but that would just let you know that if there was like a whole nother clause here with some other nouns, to ignore those so you fit, hit the next verb and say these two are sharing the same head. Um, oh. Like if this it's... Mieta was up here, Mukao, Mieta, Kaidan, then that would be why that would be there. So the Kaidan became visible. Right. But the Kaidan is described as being a long and that the Kaidan turn up. Yes. It up. Yep. It go, and knee. It go ah. up and it's long. Right. The long stairs that go upward. Exactly. Perfect. Appear. Yep. Stairs that face upward. So perfect. Just so you know, they don't face downwards and we're going deeper underneath the river because the right. whole tunnel was pretty much straight. They went down some stairs at the beginning. And now we're going up some stairs. Well, okay. probably. Um, Do you know how to read this word? Saki. Good guess. But this is, um. they both are have their married readings. Sen. Yep. And the other is to. Hi, sen to. Perfect. Do you remember what sen to means? Sen is before. To is it? It's like tofu? It's like To bean? is to from atama. From head. Which means head. And it's a counter for large animals as well. Um, so the previous animal. It could be that. Um, sen to means um, the, the leader. Not like the boss, but the person walking in the lead, the one in the front of something. That's because sen means before slash front, right? Just like mai. Mai also means before and front, right? Like you said, hyakunen mai, that means a hundred years ago. We said um, sono mai would mean right in front of that. So sen is just like that, that saki. So it's saying someone is in the front of the heads, right? So if you had multiple heads walking somewhere, the one in the front would be the sento, head most front. Hi. Right. Right. Um, and a lot of times it takes a verb tate, sento ni tate. So they're not literally standing in the front, they are, they're walking in the sentence, but it just means they took the front. Um, took the lead. Took it. it had the sense of being a position. They position. They positioned themselves in the front. Exactly. That's what the tate is telling us. Can you read this word for me. Uh, shigemi. Perfect. So a shigemi is like a thicket. A thicket like a is bush. like a fence. Like a bush. That's like a fence. Hi. In this case, it's just a bush. It doesn't have to be a fence. Sorry. Bush. I don't know my flower vocabulary. Bush, bush. 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 This is a berry. kind of bush. Um, it does look like a berry bush, but that's not what's on there. I'll tell you what it is in a second. Can you read the sentence for me? Shigemi no ibara. Perfect. Ibara is actually a word for roses, specifically um wild roses. So these look like berries, but these are um flowers. Okay. Right. Uh, it's just these ones right here on the corner that kind of stick out to you are buds. Hi. But so, but basically, this is a bush with wild roses in it, and roses have sharp thorns, right? Hi. They're very sharp. Um, can you read this word for me? Kare kakaru. Hi. This means to be withered, to be withering. Kare kakaru. Theoretically, this is um kareru is to wither. Oh. Um, so this is to be doing the withering to have commenced, and it is a u verb. The money. Hi. Kakaru here, give us the sense that it's already occurred and it is continuing yes. occurring. Yeah. Yes. It's withered, and it's still doing so. 
if it's in the state of witheredness. So if it said um kareta, it kind of insinuates it's like totally dead and it doesn't matter anymore. Um, but yeah, witheredness. And what is the te form of this? Kare kakata. Hi, perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Igemi no ibara wa kare ka kate iru. It is with the ring. Hi. The bush of rose. Yes, has been beginning to be withering. Um, can you do this for me? Kaki wakeru. Hi. Wakeru, you've probably seen this before. It's from wakare to understand or to divide something. And that's because kaki wakeru means to push something aside, push one's way through something. So you're pushing it, making it divide so you can go through it. Kake wakeru, which is a do verb. And what is the ter form of kake wakeru? Kake wakete. Hi. Okay, so let's go read the sentence from the book. Neburi ga sento ni tatte. Neburi, it's in the front. Hi. Kaida o nobori kiri. No bo ri is to go up. Hi. Kiru is to. Why is it kiri, man? So this kiri, kiri comes from kiru, which means to cut. A lot of verbs will take cut to mean something is finished. You've cut in it. So nobori kiri means to climb the kaidan. And now you're no longer climbing because you've reached the top of the kaidan. Oh, I see. And it's kind of like right at that edge, right where you cut it. So you could say nobota, right? Um, but that's a little bit hard because you're not supposed to have past tense, you know, in the middle of a sentence. Unless you have a different like thing that allows it like no de. So you because tenses are at the end of the sentence, right? So the mm. kiri lets us know it's at the end of climbing. Otherwise, you'd have to change the and that they've used. And then is kare kakata. It started to wither. Uh, past tense. So withered to to With to. The... There be they. There are shiges, and they are like withered. かれかかったいばらのしげみをかきわけてそっとにだっただったはいでたそう so, what did nobody do after he climbed the stairs he push aside and go through Hi. The, the thicket of roses that's already started to wither. There, there. So, so basically, there's a thicket of roses here, but there's no roses on this thicket. It's, it's like, um, have you ever watched Sleeping Beauty? Yes. And there's like all those thorns right there. That's yeah. an example of like a rose bush that's been withered. It's like they're kind of gray and they just have the sharp pointy bits in it. Um, mm. If something was just karetad, then um, it probably still wouldn't be here. Like most flowers that wither are like, they turn into like mulch. Right? <laughs> it's, they, they, they have been withered. With, they, they have commenced the withering. Um, I guess it it could it's still a little bit alive, like you're right. So I guess withering could be working, but it's just the it is an unhappy flower bush. I always have the sense that kakata meaning like it's in the state of 
of whatever that is. So like basically, he, yeah. Like if what is it they say that he he left his house or he not at home he. The kaketa. He the kaketa. He like he in the state of not at or uh, he in the state of outside. That's from kakedu, which is probably related than ka, uh, kakata, but it is a slightly different. This is slightly okay. different thing. So. It might be the same kanji. I... It is the same kanji, so the difference is probably ga versus o. I, I would guess this one's. Yeah, I'm o. guessing like it's in the state of that. He's yeah. in the state of not being at home. He's yeah. in the state of going. In the state, so it, yeah. Mm. So. so, what he did is he he pushed aside, and he goes through this bush Hi. of rose that already in the state of wither. With Perfect. The red, with the red, and he 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 arrive outside. He emerges outside. Hi. Out of curiosity, where would you put the um rose bush in this picture? Um, here at A, B, or C. It would has to be in B because yeah, Bori Kiri. Kiri. Perfect. <laughs> You know what a fuyu is? Is winter. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Higa sasu. Perfect. So this is like, you know, like these when the light like stabs like this, you know? These are higa sasu. Um, so it can go through anything, but that's just with it, you know, that's the the square lights. If you have stigmatism or light sasu. Um, the that come through. Yeah. 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 That one. Yeah. Um. Do you know how to read this kanji? Who you? Perfect. Who you? Who you? Um. Do you know how to read this kanji? It's for weak. Hi. Which is I read it. I forgot this one. It is yo wa i yo wa i. Yo wa i. Let's read wai. the sentence. Soto ni wa fuyu no yo wa i hi ga sashite ita. Right. At the outside, the 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 um the 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 he the day is weak winter. And What's the other meaning of he other than day? The sun. Hi. The sun is that of a weak winter. Hi. So the weak winter sun. The weak winter sun. Shashi that is day. weird. Order it's different. <laughs> I see that it it it's it it flows through. Hi. From the outside. It cut the room. Hi. Perfect. Is it from the outside money or at the outside? No, or, or does it matter? So or... in this case, the the knee is kind of um the location in which this is occurring, but theoretically, normally knee does mark destinations. But you wouldn't really use a destination with sashteiru. <laughs> for for so the yubi sasu. It can um, mark. So this could be soto de. And the sentence is the same. Soto de wa. How, how do you how often you... distinguish that this ni is marking a destination or is marking an origin? I don't know. Con context. Context, right? right. Yeah. This, this, this verb wouldn't take ni for destination in general you can tell because verbs either take things or don't take things you know mm. um yeah and this might be our last word of the day depends how fastly read it let's go Neburito ga you saw the toll 
<laughs> it didn't register that nobody doesn't have a toe in his oh, name. My goodness. Whenever I see that net, it's ruined everything. <laughs> yeah, nobody. <laughs> Benetto ga kaidan o nobori kiri. Nobori kita tokoro de tachi domaru. Wane, what is domaru? Domaru is tomaru, but it's added rendaku toward it. You might write this one down. I feel like you've asked me about tachi domaru a couple of times. So mm. we get tatsu, which is to stand, and tomaru, which is to stop. And the mm. reason why we use this rather than just tata is that tata actually doesn't have the insinuation of lack of movement that it does in English. So if I said Bennett stood, in English, no matter what, that means that he's no longer moving. That's not what tata means in Japanese. That's why we also saw sento ni tata earlier with nobody taking the lead, which if he said nobody stood in front, that would instantly insinuate he's no longer moving, which is not insinuated by tata. Tata on his own just means you're on your feet. So context tells you whether or not someone's moving or not moving. So here we added tomaru to let you know, Bennett, who is already tatting, right? He was climbing up the stairs, not crawling up them. Um, so we have to add tomaru to that to let you know he stopped climbing, but he's still standing on his feet. Um, if he just tomatad, theoretically, he could have like collapsed or like fell on the floor. So we're just being very clear that he is still standing, but he's now standing still, <laughs> no longer standing while climbing or anything like that. Right. So at the tokoro, de, at the place Hi. where he, um, where he climbed to the very to the top of the kaidan, there he stopped. Yep. Poor poor Khan. He's like, I want to go up the stairs, but that stops right here. He stopped there. What are you, what are you gonna do, Bennett? Suspicious. Um, do you remember how to read this word? Sento. Perfect. How about continue? Suzuki. Hi. And week? Kawaii. Ko kawaii. Kawaii. Um kawaii. is uh scary. Oh kawaii is scary. So ko yo. This is yo wa yo wai. Yo wa yo for pathetic yo wai. Yo yo for weak. Hey, yo. And what does tachi to maru mean? Tachi to maru to come to a standing, to hey. come to a standing stop. Perfect. To come to a standing stop. And this is where we're going to stop for the day. Um, any questions before we go?